What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and yes, it's another video on the X-Hold 3 series but one particular feature. Flex mode is an underutilized feature on all foldable devices and I wanted to talk about it specific to the X-Fold 3. Let's go. Now, as I mentioned, flex mode isn't new to the Vivo, but I've been getting a lot of comments below asking A, does flex mode work? And B, does it work with third party apps or Google apps? Because keep in mind, the Vivo X Fold 3 is a Chinese ROM. Well, as I'm showing you just now, of course, every single app I have downloaded from the Google Play Store works with flex mode. So what I've done here and what I'm showing you is your kind of top apps that you'll download. YouTube, YouTube Music, Google Photos, Instagram. And then to finish off, I'm going to show you the native camera app. Because I believe the camera app is what flex mode absolutely excels at and why more people should be using it. But sticking with the other apps, the functionality with flex mode with these apps is, well, quite self-explanatory. The trackpad itself is like any other trackpad. I use an Apple trackpad and it's got two finger gestures, three finger gestures, swipe left, swipe right, scroll up, scroll down. And that's exactly what the trackpad on the Vivo does. While the Vivo controls the smaller half screen up above, what the Vivo will also do when you connect your device to a larger TV or monitor, it will act as a trackpad for you as well. And that's where I think the trackpad will shine as far as the Vivo. Now I'm going to get questions about this and you're right to ask. Using the screen as a trackpad, is that not dangerous for the device? No. And I think that shows how far foldable phones have come. The ultra thin glass used on the Vivo, I've mentioned it feels like glass, not it's not rubber. So you have way more durability than you would have from a Samsung Z Fold 3 or even 4. So yes, don't worry about it. Also, I wouldn't go, you know, Gail Deaver's nails and start scratching the trackpad. But for your normal finger gestures, you're going to be absolutely fine. Now the trackpad itself also has some shortcuts. You can choose to get rid of the trackpad altogether, bring down notifications, bring down the control center, adjust the volume, adjust the brightness. You can choose to do all that all from the lower half of the screen while still viewing all of your YouTube content or skipping through YouTube music tracks. And then when it comes to the Photos app, you can automatically share from the trackpad using gestures. You can scroll through your photos. You can zoom in with the trackpad. There's a whole heap of things you can do and it's all designed for every app, folks. Every single app so far that I've tried is optimized. It's not just halved when you fold the screen and everything's just squeezed. They're all optimized. And then the main reason I think flex mode should be used, vlogging, photography, videography. It's a tripod. A foldable phone in its folded format sat on a wall is just a tripod waiting to be used. So if you go out and record on your own or you want to take a group photo with you in it, set the timer on the phone, go and get in your group photo and obviously it's the Vivo so it does good photos and then video. Go ahead and hit record, wander around. The phone's going to keep it in ultra wide and it'll always have you in frame. Fantastic. You can then edit your video to your heart's content, all safe in the knowledge that you're going to get good quality recording. And you don't need a second person to be the camera man or woman. So there we have it. That's the benefits of flex mode. A feature available on the Vivo X Fold 3 and the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro. And more importantly, all apps are supported on the Chinese ROM. Short but sweet today, just wanted to highlight one of the features. If you've enjoyed it, smash like. And until next time, 